Hard to spell. Now this is not a math course, so I'm not going to develop this in the way that uh, a math teacher would. I'm going to just make the fundamental uh, comments about some of the rules and moving decimals and so forth. And that's all I'm going to do. Exponential notation refers to, as you know, the uh, power value uh, or powers of 10 in terms of converting a number from where whatever it is to a power of 10. So um, just making up a number, uh, 1,203,000, something of this, this nature, we assume the decimal place to be right here. Now, that's a zero position. And say we move it to right there, OK? Then that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 positions. So what we would do Say write this as 1.23 if that was the number fig fig times 10 to the sixth power. Now, when the decimal is between the first and second digit on the coefficient, this is the coefficient part of your number. It is said to be in standard form, but this number is also equal to. And I think you already understand this. Uh, 1, 2.3 times 10 to the fifth, or 1, 2, 3 times 10 to the fourth, or 1, 2, 3, 0 oh, times 10 to the third, and so forth. 1, 2, 3, 0, oh, oh, times 10 squared, 1, 2, 3, 0, oh, 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 times 10 to the first power, and then we're back to the original number. But these are not, of course, standard forms. So uh, kind of keep that in mind. Same thing with uh, decimal fractions when you move it from left to right to right, right to left. Now, this is a number that's uh, greater than a fraction, one or larger. And so if we're using numbers that are decimal fractions, We'd have something like 0 0.10257, something of that nature. Well, that's a fraction. And so to put it in standard form, we'd want to move the decimal place in to the first position uh, between the first and second uh, significant numbers in there. If you move left to right, and if, it's a, if you're working with a decimal fraction, it comes out as a negative power of 10. So if 1.0257, if we use all the did all the number times 10 to however many places you move, well, we move one place. So that'd be minus one. If you have 0 0.000834 and you put it in standard form, of course, that would move one, two, three, four places. 8.34 times 10 to the minus four. So you want to keep those kind of little rules in, in mind. Uh, now, while we are putting numbers in powers of 10, you also want to be able to take powers of 10 and convert them back to numbers. Uh, and going back to number values, so if you had a 3.87 times 10 to the third power, what do you move, move that? Well, that would move the decimal place three places to the right, three times to the right, so that'd be 3870, oh, and that would be your uh, value. Now, you don't have to put a decimal in that because it is, um, you know, has, you'd have to put another zero in, to a trailing zero, as they call them, and they're not significant. And the same way with, same idea, if you had a power, negative power of 10, 1.08 times 10 to the minus Four, something like that, then you would be moving four places to the left. And I kind of look at this, see this negative sign up here? I kind of put an arrowhead on it to tell you which way to move. And so if you, eh, it's just a memory device. But that's 0 0.000108. So, you know, you want to kind of practice that. And you've probably seen it enough in the past. But there is a review in the back of Ebbing's text uh, on powers of 10 
uh, and conversions of numbers like that. So please uh, prepare yourself. Okay, multiplication, division, and exponential notation. So we have some big, nasty looking computation. Uh, 3.85 times 0 0.0123 divided by 6.115 and 215.87, like that. So one of the things that can be done is convert this to power of 10 and then separate your coefficients from your powers of 10. So let's do it like this. This one's already in standard form. You don't need a power of 10 for that one. But the second one, if you move the decimal two places to the right, you'll go 10 to the minus 2. So that'd be one point. Uh, 2, 3 times 10 to the minus 2. Anybody good on that? Stop me if you need to. And this one's already in standard form, 6.115, so we don't have to do any more, anything to that. And this last one, if you move the decimal place to the left, 2.1587 times 10, and you move two places to the left, that'll positive uh, 2, like that. Now, uh, what I was saying is the coefficient numbers you set them up as one computation, and your powers of 10 as a second computation. I'll show you this. Okay, 3.85 times 1.23 divided by 6.115, and again, divided by 2.1587 times, and then you put 10 powers over here. Uh, just a method of doing it, and it'd be 10 to the minus 2. looks like 10 to the minus 2. Yeah, I wish I'd have come out with a little bit different. But anyway, you can see real fast the powers of 10 drop out, so we're left with this computation right here. So let me run that out. <laughs> Rather ex extended correction. So what that would do is go to 10 to the minus 2 minus uh, a plus 2, like that. So that's the algebra on that one. Thank you, sir. Anyway, so that would make our power of 10 a minus right here, so it would be 10 to the minus 4, like that. Now, you certainly don't want to present a number with that, that uh, many digits in it. So we look up here, and we find the computation, with, uh, the value that has the least number of significant figures. Well, that looks like these two have the least number of significant figures, 3. So we want to round to uh, 3 significant figures. Now that's 7, well I use the 5 plus rule, and so that would go 0 0.359 and times 10 to the minus 4, like that. Okay, now when you get this far, uh, you want to adjust the uh, coefficient number to a standard form. So that moves the decimal one place, and that's 3.5. 9 times 10 to the minus 1, well, times 10 to the minus 4, and it ultimately comes out 3.59 times 10 to the minus 5. So that's multiplication division in there, uh, notwithstanding the blooper, but 99% uh, of the time, you'll most likely punch it into your calculator and give you the answer you need anyway. But I'm obligated to share this with you. Anyway. So the rule is convert values to same powers of 10. Then add coefficient numbers and then finally adjust coefficient to standard form. So that's kind of a play on who would. So if we take a 0 0.0123 and a 1 point, uh, well, let's take 12 and make, some, make it work for us. Uh, 105 and then take an 8. Uh, 0 0.00321. Okay. okay. So you want to express these in powers of 10 
and then the same power to 10, and then uh, add the coefficients. So we're looking here, and it is really uh, irrelevant how, which one you choose. So uh, let's take the first one, and I'm going to convert that one to uh, 1.23 times 10 to the uh, minus 2. Well, I've got to convert everything else to times 10 to the minus 2. Okay, so what I would have to do to put this one in minus 2 is I'd also have to move the decimal place a couple of places to the right on that one. So this one would be a 1210.5 times 10 to the minus 2 because we're still subtracting. If I move to the left, I'd have to add, remember? Okay, and then if I move this one into that position, I would have too many. So I have to, to get a minus 2 out of this one. I'd have to stop right there. So that would go to a uh, 0 0.321 times 10 to the minus 2, and then we add the coefficient. And again, you need to line up the uh, decimal places. Let me see if I can make that a little more user-friendly. There we go. And 3, 2, 1, make this one 3, 2, 1. Right there. So we have uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, one, two, one, and right here times ten to the minus two. And I eyeball. I hope I got it right. Anyway. So uh, from there, you want to put it back into standard form, whatever you're trying to accomplish, and that's moving three places to the left, so we add back three. 1.212051 times 10 to the, uh, well, that's one, first power, so adding three back to that gives you first power. And so... Uh, we round this to this position, least number of digits to the right of the decimal. We'd make that a, a one. So that five that goes to one. So one point two one two one times ten to the first power. Now I made these up, man. Those numbers probably wouldn't come out like that in a problem. It'd be more realistic. But the the idea is to convert all of them to the same power of 10, and then add or subtract the coefficient. And at the end of the problem, adjust the standard form by putting the decimal between the first and second digits. And that's the long and short of that. So I don't want to get any more involved in that. So, but like I say, most of the time, you will use your calculator to get whatever answer you need. Anyway.